Hello everyone, my name is Kitetsu and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I'm carrying on with my model range review and I'm going to be looking today at the incredible Nighthaunt models. Now some of you may know but I collect quite a lot of Age of Sigma armies and I think last time when I used to keep track it was around 14 different armies that I was kind of dipping in and out of. That's a lot of armies and uh, what you will realise when you're watching my range reviews is I'm kind of saying all the time, ah oh, this is one of my favourite factions. Oh, I love this model. This is one of my favorites. And I think what I need to do is actually in my own head kind of create a list of what my actual top five factions really are. But of the two that I always, always end up going back to, it's always Gloom Spike Gits and it's always the Nighthorn. I would say that my favorite faction of all time at the moment in Age of Sigma is Gloom Spike Gits. And I would say that Nighthorn are a really close second. They are some of the most stunning models that Games Workshop have ever produced period so this video has been requested by a lot of people so i thought i'd better get on and make it if people love this range as much as i do then i'm not really surprised but before i begin don't forget to like the video if you enjoy what you see and please please do subscribe to my channel it's not something i'm doing as like a job i do this as a hobby but your support means absolutely everything to me now the next thing i want to say is if you are patiently waiting for news on what i'm going to do with my lore series for the old world i ended up being playing pleasantly surprised for something that I thought was a bit of a risk for my channel and something totally new. It had well over I think 1500 views which for my channel I suppose is pretty small but I ended up having to sit there and think do you know what what do I make these videos for? I make them for my own pure enjoyment and there's nothing more to it than that so I will be carrying on that series and I can't wait to make the next part but yeah also go and check out my Warhammer Facebook group Warhammer Kotetsu Clan the link to that will be in the top of the description but anyway with all that rubbish out the way let's get into the night haunt faction so where do we begin the first thing i can say is that this is quite a large model range and this is one of the best examples of games workshop bringing out a new faction for age of sigma where they basically did everything absolutely right oh i thought my internet had gone again then i can't be dealing with that right so let's start where in fact where shall we start there's so many models here to look at i guess the first things to say really quickly are the fact that Nighthorn feature very prominently in the big starter set so that is absolutely crammed with incredible models there are also quite a few different kits you can buy such as the storm strike and the tempest of souls which are great introductions to this faction especially if you want to get playing and you want some stormcast as well there are also some easy build kits which are absolutely fantastic and pretty much all of those easy build kits such as uh, these glaive wraith stalkers they all complement the starter set really well the next thing to say is that if you are subscribed to the mortal realms magazine in the uk by the time you are finished with that collection you will have an absolutely enormous collection of nighthaunt models so i went on to uh, this website here and they've got a complete list of everything you're going to get but yeah here you go here's everything for the nighthaunt you actually get quite a bit from the uh, soul wars set as well but yeah it's quite astonishing how much they have decided to cram into that magazine subscription i decided to put my own collection of nighthaunt on hold when i realized just how much content there was going to be in this magazine obviously i'm subscribed to that and if you want a review of it by the way go check out the facebook group i've got one on there but yeah let's start with lady alinda this model is absolutely stunning it is without a doubt i have to say my favorite of the mortarks when i was doing the review of the uh, ossiarch bone reapers i was thinking does catacross maybe take the crown but looking at this model no absolutely not this is the best of all of the mortarks that games workshop has released so far i just love the theme of having this veiled lady she's so ethereal haunting and yeah the detail is absolutely incredible blimey did games workshop keep like a flash on when they were taking a picture of this model we're probably better sticking off with this photo but yeah games workshop has just not really attempted anything like this before the veil over her face looks astonishing i love the headdress for something that's in theory quite a simple model i don't know how they've managed it it's i guess a credit to their design team but somehow the balance of the model just looks looks absolutely amazing you know it's quite a simple pose but I guess the way that they've kind of made her ghostly dress flowing around her with her two kind of helpers what are they that her banshee handmaidens kind of accompanying her it all just creates a stunning model I think 
think I also need to create like a top 10 list of favorite models because I'm pretty sure this would be in it as well. But yeah, just look at the uh, amazing way they've kind of sculpted this horrible corpse-like face with the veil kind of draped over it. And you can see the impression of the skull underneath. It's actually astonishing. It reminds me a little bit if you look at all of this detail here of the Eidolon of Mathlan. But again, I way prefer this model. She's super cool. Amazing for a centerpiece for your army. In fact, there are quite a lot of good centerpiece models in this faction. But I would say an essential purchase if you are a fan of the model. Fortunately for me, my one is going to arrive with my Mortal Realm subscription. So where do we go from here? Let's take a look at Rykonor, the Grim Hailer, if I'm saying his name right. Another absolutely astonishing model and another reason I love the Nighthaunt. Their battle tone was amazing. The range of figures is amazing. But on top of that, I love the characters. They're what bring a fantasy game to life like Age of Sigmar. It's the reason that Warhammer Fantasy was so incredible and so beloved is it had such a good host of characters. So Raikonor, he looks absolutely fantastic. Again, a superb sculpt. I love the fact that he's an easy to build kit. Like, why not? We should definitely have loads of characters that are easy to build. If they're monopose and they're kind of the face of the second edition of Warhammer, along with the uh, Sacrosanct Stormcast Eternals, why not have some models that are super quick and easy to put together, but covered in absolutely astonishing detail? Just look at this thing, it's absolutely incredible. I never realised how he's actually kind of listing over to one side, but yeah, the base he's standing on looks great. Look at the statue that he's kind of leaping off of. He definitely looks like he is the herald of some sort of horrendous apocalypse. But yeah, he's got a super cool backstory. He's Nagashi's Reaper of Souls. It describes him as a sinister and powerful wraith wizard. He's kind of uh, Nagashi's chief Reaper of Souls. And yeah, he looks great. I think my personal favourite touch is all of these kind of waxy candles that are burning on him. But yeah, I think he's reasonably priced. He looks impressive. He's a great model. Whilst we are looking at heroes, it makes sense to look at Kurdos next, the Craven King. I love the two heralds either side of him. The banner looks amazing. Quite often with uh, these star models where you have a figure sitting on some sort of throne. I think sometimes where Games Workshop gets it a little bit wrong is what they're actually sitting on. I think in this case, what he's sitting on looks absolutely fantastic. And it's only enhanced by the uh, two heralds that are there. He's got his musician and his standard bearer, which kind of throws back to classic fantasy. The standard as well looks absolutely amazing. I'm really hoping that the detail detail on the standard is actually uh, part of the sculpt. Yeah, it is, which is really good. But yeah, it just makes total logical sense to have this guy sitting on a throne, seeing as he is the Craven King. When you actually rotate this throne, it looks even more magnificent. It's so stunning the way that it looks so solid from the front, but then from behind it starts slowly turning into this wispy kind of ghost-like thing. It's absolutely astonishing. Again, the pose is amazing. The detail is amazing. The thing Thing he's resting on it looks a little bit fragile but not too bad I think we can get away with it I would say that parts of this flag and the uh the wraithy stuff behind him looks a little bit more fragile that crown looks a bit anxiety inducing but yeah speaking of his kind of helmet just look at how amazing that looks have we got a zoom in of his face yeah that is an amazing mask but yeah that's the uh Craven King who is Lady Alinda's chief lieutenant I think one of the problems I would have with actually creating a Nighthaunt list is that the heroes all look so good that I would want to include all of them in my army list and it probably wouldn't be very feasible, not without going to super massive points. But yeah, this is something that I'm surprised I haven't said already. Nighthaunt models are incredibly fragile. Some of them, I think it's a little bit of a joke how fragile they are. I'm torn between the fact they look so damn good, but then at the same time, they're so fragile. Oh, it's like a battle going on inside me between loving them intensely and hating the fact they're so fragile. But yeah, I do believe when I received my Soul Wars box, there were a couple of the uh, chain rasp hordes that were actually already broken on the sprue and that just should be an outright no that shouldn't happen fortunately games workshops um customer service team are incredible and they will immediately swap anything that's broken next let's take a look at the executioner model again it just looks absolutely 
absolutely astonishing. His hooded cloak looks astonishing. The executioner's axe with these kind of spirits coming out of them. The way he's kind of coming out of that tombstone sort of thing. This guy, it says, has been sent by Nagash to claim the souls of those who have basically escaped from Shaish. So if you know anything about the lore, you will know that um, there are a few races in the mortal realms that can kind of cheat death in a way. There's the Stormcast, there's some of the Elven souls. And yeah, Nagash is incredibly angry about that and he wants all of these souls back. So these are the kinds of uh, people he is sending to reclaim those souls. But yep, an amazing model. I'm probably going to stop using the word fragile in this review because that's all I'm going to end up saying. The Chain Rasp Hordes, again, these are a great kit. I do believe these are the exact same Chain Rasp that come with the Soul Wars massive set. You get 10 of them here. I think off the top of my head, you get 20 in the Soul Wars set. But as your bog standard infantry, they look super cool. They're absolutely bursting with character. And I can imagine they're a joy to paint. I haven't really painted any of my night haunt yet i've seen a few people on my facebook group who've done some insanely good models and i need to ask them how they're doing their paint schemes because uh, i'm totally going to copy what they've done if your basic models and your battle line look this good you really are already off to a complete winner like look at this thing is absolutely astonishing the gravestone the chains the rusty blades that they're armed with they are just such dynamic models. It really does blow my mind that Games Workshop are releasing stuff of this quality. Like, look at that guy. He's still got the stocks attached to him and a ball and chain. There's loads of variety in the weapons they're armed with. Super, super cool. Now, I don't know if this is still the case, but they used to put loads and loads of these on eBay for super cheap because people would basically buy the £95 box, split it up, and then it was costing around about, I think, £12. So about half price to buy these so that might be worth checking out next i'm gonna look at the dreadblade harrows again one of my favorite units in the entire set there's nothing really bad in this entire army but i have for a long time called these the best horse models that i think games workshop have ever made i would say the only thing that even comes close to how good these horses look are the horses that they've released for the slaves to darkness range even some of the old ones of those look fantastic but i'm not sure what it is about these models that look so fantastic is it the fact that there's no flesh over the face where they've got these skulls and therefore they're not trying to look like photorealistic horses that could be it but then also the poses are absolutely astonishing too i love how fantastic it is you get these little glimpses of like rib cage and bone it's kind of a reoccurring theme with this army that you get a mix of kind of spirit and solid kind of together blimey my internet is being slow today but yeah it just looks absolutely fantastic again i think i would feel a little bit anxious about how uh fragile the swords look but they just look so astonishing and do you know what 15 pounds for two of these models that is a bargain by games workshop standards i remember when they first teased these models i was hoping that there would be a larger unit of them they certainly could do with a box of say five of them i'm surprised they never released that as a kit but yeah they look absolutely stunning next let's Let's take a look really quickly at our trusty Knight of Shrouds. This is one of the, in fact, this is the first ever model we got for the Night Haunt. To think when I first saw this model, I had absolutely no idea that he was heralding the coming of such an astonishing army. But yeah, he looks very similar to quite a lot of the other models, but with the exception of having this incredibly cool mask. Whilst I love this model, I think he's a bit pricey, and I would say that I massively, massively prefer the knight of shrouds you get in this set here let's take a super super quick look at him it's basically the same model but they've put him on one of these astonishing horse sculpts from the new range there's literally nothing to not like about how good this model is and again get those other two horses for 15 quid kind of make them his personal retinue and that's going to look seriously cool on the tabletop 
I do love they've also given the horse this kind of unique ram's head style armor that looks amazing as well. But yeah, absolutely astonishing. In fact, this set also, it's worth mentioning whilst we're here, also comes with a unique executioner model. I love both of them. This one's obviously got the hangman's noose, which looks fantastic, but he does look more fragile with this kind of spirit host coming out of him. This model here, the guardian of souls, I think this one is far more successful. His mask looks absolutely amazing. The lantern just looks so eerie and creepy especially with that paint scheme ah oh, this thing as well i'd completely forgotten what he was called i had to quickly go and check this is a spirit torment again a super cool model that does maybe look a little bit too fragile but very cool those keys look like they're just asking to be broken off i feel like uh if you have a collection of these uh, models you're probably better off getting your friends to come to you and bring their probably more uh, sturdy armies than you having to try and transport these the only thing i can really suggest is having magnetized bases and sticking them to a sheet of metal because my god are they fragile right i'm not really going to talk about the hex wraiths that much they're a classic they look great the only thing i would say about these is they do look a tiny bit older particularly the horse skeletons if you compare those to some of the newer sculpts they definitely don't look as good but you do get a unit of those those with the malignant start collecting box right next we've got the blade geist revenants there are three kits that look incredibly similar that are kind of based off of this template i think all of them look amazing but i think the ones with the uh, glaives look the best closely followed by the swords there's not really too much to add about them they look fantastic just like everything else in the range these are more of a kind of elite unit in the army so again i say it in every video that's my favorite kind of slot in the army structure so to have units looking this good and to have um 10 of them for 27 pound 50 i don't think is too bad so yeah definitely models i love the other two versions of that kit not that they're the same box you can't build all these options from the same kit but in my head they all seem kind of similar we've got the dread scythe harridans these look super terrifying they look absolutely nightmarish and feral can you actually imagine bumping into one of those malicious blade limbed spirits former healers cursed to mutilate recklessly hacking the foe see that's the kind of thing i like about these models even immediately glancing at that you can tell that it's going to be absolutely crazed and it's probably going to be doing everything it can to tear you to shreds they look absolutely lethal i'm loving the forearm thing going on with them as well it makes them look especially ghostly but yeah i reckon the grim gas reapers these are my favorite of the lot probably just because the whole reaper scythe thing is very classic and in keeping with this sort of army but yeah they look super super cool love the fact that nearly all of them in fact do all of them have blindfolds yeah it looks like they do so that's super cool as well but yeah another kit i absolutely love we've got our easy to build banshee kit these are very cool i do believe i've already received my banshees from the mortal realms magazine very reasonable price though i was not expecting when i first saw these that they were going to be an easy build kit and i was not expecting they were going to be so cheap but again the sculpting is fantastic and they've got that kind of veil thing like lady alinda going on everything just thematically fits together so well and in my opinion they've kind of done this really good balance of making things feel like they fit together and are variations of the same thing but at the same time they don't feel too samey like look at the jaw of that thing it's distended just enough to to look really unnatural and creepy you're noticing a theme here just everything looks super cool right last couple of things to look at what have we got we've got the the jailers again these are kind of uh spirit torments that you can use to expand on the soul wars kit very creepy models i think having such a big weight on the end of that chain is probably going to be a little bit fragile but yeah they look astonishing again absolutely love the cage that has gone around this spirit it's almost like they were once in prison themselves and now they're kind of extending that punishment to others maybe that is their law i haven't particularly read about them but even the subtle details look at the skulls that are coming out of their cloaks it's absolutely amazing i honestly am in love with this faction i can't see how other people wouldn't love them too so glaive wraith stalkers another easy to build kit again they look fantastic nicely detailed with really good bases 
I remember the first time I saw these things, I was getting all excited. I thought they were undead Skaven. I still kind of wished that they'd gone down that route of having undead other races. But nevertheless, they do look amazing. This is your chance to get a musician. I'm pretty sure I haven't looked at the Battle Tome in a while. But in the Soul War set, you get not quite a complete unit of these. And you'd have to buy the easy build ones to kind of finish the unit off. And that gets you your musician. But I'm pretty sure musicians were quite important to that army composition or the unit composition composition sorry but again something I love is how diverse they've managed to make all of the weapons across the army these definitely look super cool and another good bargain for only 10 pounds so we've got a tomb banshee that's a really nice model I'm not really going to talk about it too much it's a little bit old we've got this version here which I think I prefer not a huge amount to say about it it kind of fits in line with loads of the other models in the set we have the thorns of the briar queen these are a warhammer under Underworlds Warband and in fact they've just come to uh, Warhammer Underworlds online so I need to get playing that and check out how cool they are. Great models, more models that I own myself. Some nice sort of uh, chain rasp models that have got some uh, kind of variation so you could either run them as a unit on their own or if you really wanted to perhaps you could substitute some of these models into your other chain rasp armies just to get a bit more variety but yeah they look absolutely fantastic as well and i think i've covered everything else apart from the piece de resistance the absolutely magnificent black coach just look at how damn cool this thing is i'm absolutely in love with it it's the one thing that i seriously wish came with the mortal realms magazine i guess for a 70 pound kit that would be asking too much i remember as a kid though the original black coach model was uh, one of the models that just captivated me so much but this thing just blows it away the detail is absolutely staggering there's just too much to take in on this model you've got those incredible new horse sculpts that are driving it the way that it's kind of careening in the air unbalanced it looks amazing all of these spectral things around it one of them's holding a sword as if he's kind of holding it out bearing it for someone to take another one's holding a book you've got the coffin that goes inside i do love the fact you can choose to have the coffin open or closed that's absolutely amazing lovely little touch there but yeah yeah, this thing is just absolutely staggering i love this model what i'm going to do myself is when i have finally built up all of my mortal realms night haunt all of the ones from soul wars this is going to be my reward to myself for managing to get through all of that i'm going to go straight out and buy this kit it's really high up on my list of models that i really want but it just looks absolutely astonishing so yeah that is the night haunt if i had to make a few closing remarks i would say that firstly this is games workshop doing a faction correct giving them tons of variety tons of units loads of different kits to buy a mix of easy build and multi-part kits even having like variations on the same models is really nice i believe overall there are like three different executioners that you can build now having so many characters is absolutely fantastic but also just uh making them quite easy to paint so that if if you're a super beginner and you just want to spray them white give them some kind of wash over the spirit regions and then for a vast majority just paint black over them you're going to get a pretty good result from really uh, simple techniques i can't remember what it's called but they also made a special paint just for this army or two special paints to kind of uh, paint the wraith like glow but the one big criticism of course is going to be just how fragile they are it really is a trade-off between uh, making them look this astonishing good and having that level of detail versus how fragile they are for me this is the one army i will probably make the exception for where i'm happy that they're kind of fragile because i probably am not really going to play night haunts that much i'm sure they're great but for me i want them more as a collection and a hobby piece but giving them such good backstory making the sculpt so good you know this to me is a 10 out of 10 faction but yeah let me know down below what you guys think about the night haunts do you collect them do you want to collect them does the fragility of them put you off too much do you think they look a bit samey i think in my opinion they don't there's more than enough variety I guess if you've got an enormous horde of them on a tabletop, you could think they look a bit difficult to distinguish, perhaps. But in my opinion, I think they are absolutely fabulous. But right, I'm going to leave this video here. This has probably ended up being a bit of a long one because there's quite a lot to talk about. But please like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys really soon.